Hello and welcome to another Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing the film Maxine, directed by Ty West. So the first thing to say is that horror isn't my genre, and I generally avoid horror films, but I can be persuaded by a really good film. Maxine, of course, is the third of a trilogy. The first two I have reviewed previously, I, I my conclusion was that they weren't great, but they weren't terrible. I didn't really recommend them. But one year later, I watched the trailers again for these first two films, and I thought they looked really good. And then I watched the trailer for Maxine, and I thought, this actually is a really interesting trilogy. So I was quite looking forward to going to see Maxine. From my memory of the first two films now is that they were actually better than I say in the review. So I, I did go into Maxine kind of looking forward more than I expected based on these previous reviews that I'd done. Overall, I really enjoyed Maxine. The trilogy is really creative. It's got lots of movie references and real originality in terms of portraying different genres. Maxine is a kind of 1980s fest. It's got great music, a great 80s kind of video aesthetic. It is a slasher movie and it does have its fair share of blood and gore. Although I was kind of ready for more. Not that I like it, but I was, you know, slightly um, surprised by there didn't seem to be quite as much gore as perhaps in the earlier films. There are some iconic scenes, um, but perhaps it, it's not as much a pure slasher movie as the previous two. It, it is trying to be a lot more than just a straightforward slasher movie, I think. In some ways, West is an interesting filmmaker like Tarantino. He's obsessive about cinema, so I think the film is full of many references, probably most of which I miss because I don't really know the horror film genre. But there is this trilogy is about filmmaking and the, and the movie business and Hollywood. And I think this is why I can appreciate it. it's not just a pure horror slasher movie. It's also a lot of fun. There is humour, there's satire, there's political commentary in Maxine. We, we've got the religious right in the US attacking the Hollywood film industry. So this adds a, an extra interesting dimension to it. One and three quarter hours did pass very quickly, I must say. The actors are great. Mia Goth is fantastic. She is becoming kind of typecast in horror and sex films, but they're always films with intelligence. She seems to choose her parts or attract parts that are just perfect for her. That her, her parts always include a, a real strong element of psychology and she kind of plays that so well. One thing I really liked is the kind of coherency of the trilogy. Maxine, of course, is in X and this film. And also there are very strong links to Pearl. So it's a really, really strong and effective trilogy. It has a beautiful co coherency. It's, it's really well constructed. I also loved the various scenes that were shot on the Universal Studios set including the scenes at Bates Motel and the Psycho House. This was really audacious, but for me, it was just delightful. It really worked, this. The supporting cast is excellent. Kevin Bacon plays a seedy private detective. He's just great. Also, Elizabeth Debicki is fantastic as well. So overall, I would say if you can stomach a bit of gore, bad taste, horror, I would, in fact, definitely recommend this trilogy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.